I am Vijay Kumar S. Biradar, working as assistant professor in electrical engineering department and HOD general science and engineering at NBNWS Singhagad College of Engineering, Solapur with 19 years of experience. We are going to discuss the subject known as control system 2 for T electrical engineering and the topic is pole placement using Ackermann's formula. The previous two methods we already discussed in our previous lectures. This is the third method for determination of the state feedback gain matrix K using pole placement. So we will consider the system defined by x dot is equal to x plus bu and the control signal is u is equal to minus kx. We assume that the desired location of closed loop poles are at s is equal to mu1, s is equal to mu2 and s is equal to mu n by considering the nth order system. Use of the feedback control u is equal to minus kx modifies the system equation to x dot is equal to a minus bk into x. So let us define this a minus bk as a cap. The desired characteristic equation is therefore represented as si minus a plus bk is equal to determinant of si minus a cap which is equal to s minus mu1 into s minus mu2 up to s minus mu n which is represented in equation as nth order equation of s s raised to n plus a1 s raised to n minus 1 plus an minus 1 into s plus an is equal to 0. This is the correct desired characteristic equation of the system where the desired locations can be placed. Since the Kelly Hamilton theorem states that every matrix A cap satisfies its own characteristic equation, therefore we have uh, phi of A cap is equal to A cap raised to n plus alpha 1 into A cap raised to n minus 1 plus so on up to alpha n minus 1 into A cap plus alpha n into i is equal to 0 where i is the identity matrix. We shall utilize this equation to derive Ackermann's formula to simplify the derivation we consider the case where n is equal to 3. For any other positive integer n the following derivation can be easily extended. Therefore consider the following identities i as the identity matrix which is equal to i. A cap is represented as a minus bk. A cap square becomes a minus bk square which is to be simplified as a square minus a bk minus bk into a cap. This simplification for understanding it is explained here which is to be simplified and determined as a minus bk square. In a similar way we can calculate a cube a cap cube that is a minus bk into uh, bk cube that can be also simplified in a similar way. In multiplying the preceding equations all these equations by order as alpha 3, alpha 2, alpha 1 and alpha 0 where alpha 1, alpha 0 is equal to 1 respectively and adding the results we obtain alpha 3 into i plus alpha 2 into a cap plus alpha 1 into a cap square plus alpha sorry plus a cap cube and equal to alpha 3i plus alpha 2a minus bk substituting that the values of a cap a square uh, a cap square and a cap cube in the equations we will obtain these equations which is equal to which is simplified then collecting the terms of a and the remaining terms it is represented here but as we have alpha 3i plus alpha 2 a cap plus alpha 1 a cap square plus a cap cube which is nothing but phi of a cap which is equal to 0. Similarly the equation alpha 3i plus alpha 2a plus alpha 1a square plus alpha sorry plus a cube that is equal to phi of a is not equal to 0 because a is a non-singular matrix therefore this term will not be equal to 0. Substituting the last two equations into the previous equation we obtain phi of a cap is equal to phi of a minus the remaining terms. Since phi of a cap is equal to 0 we obtain phi of a as b into bracket alpha 2k plus alpha 1k a cap plus k a cap square and a b into the bracket term and a square b k which can be represented as 
in matrix form as b a b a square b into the matrix alpha 2 k plus alpha 1 k cap plus k cap square alpha 1 k and k cap into k since the system is completely state controllable the inverse of the controllability matrix b a b a square b exists pre-multiplying both sides of the previous equation by the inverse of controllability matrix this cm we obtain b a b a square b inverse into phi of a is equal to that term inverse into that matrix gets cancelled therefore the remaining is the matrix as it is then again pre-multiplying both sides of this equation by a row matrix of 0 0 1 we obtain 0 0 1 multiplied by b a b a square b its inverse into phi of a which is equal to 0 0 1 into the matrix which is after multiplication we have only k therefore this equation can be rewritten as k is equal to 0 0 1 b a b a square b its inverse into phi of a this last equation gives the required state feedback gain matrix k so for an arbitrary positive n we have this k is equal to 0 0 up to the last element as 1 then b a b a square b and so on a raised to n minus 1 into b its inverse into phi of a this equation is known as the Ackermann's formula for determination of state feedback gain matrix k so with the help of this equation directly we can obtain the value of state feedback gain matrix k now we'll consider an example which is given by the state model and the diagram where it is desired that the eigen values are to be placed as at mu is equal to minus 2 plus j4 minus 2 minus j4 and u, u3 is equal to 1 so we'll determine the state feedback gain matrix k in determining the state feedback gain matrix k the first step is to check the controllability of the given system therefore with the help of this controllability matrix we can obtain the rank of the matrix which is equal to 3 therefore the system is completely state controllable then using the Ackermann's formula which is equal to k is equal to 0 0 1 b a b a square b its inverse into phi of a we'll obtain the phi of a first with the help of the desired poles we obtain this equation phi of a with alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 can be determined from these coefficients of the desired characteristic polynomial then we have this phi of a phi of a is equal to a, a cube plus 14 a square plus 60 a plus 200 i substituting the matrices a a square and a cube will determine the a cube as this matrix then a square as this matrix and substituting these matrices in the above equation will obtain the matrix phi of a then multiplying the coefficients into the matrix we obtain this equation therefore phi of a becomes this 199.558 minus 8 159 7 minus 7 minus 34 and 170 substituting this values therefore we obtain the controllability matrix phi of a substituting this values in the equation of k and multiplying the matrices here we need to calculate the b a b a square b that is the controllability matrix inverse which is obtained here as 561 610 100 substituting this and multiplying the matrices we obtain the state feedback gain matrix k as k is equal to 199 55 and 8 so this 3 by 3 multiplication first and then this 1 by 3 into 3 by 3 matrix will obtain 1 by 3 as 199 55 8 where this 199 represents the k1 55 represents k2 8 represents k3 therefore k is k1 k2 k3 as 199 55 and 8 so this is how we are going to obtain the state feedback gain matrix k with the help of Ackermann's formula so this is another example for you people so that you can solve this and have the understanding of all the three methods for the full placement this example can be solved with the help of all the three methods that is that transfer uh, transformation matrix method that substitution and Ackermann's formula I hope you understand the pole placement method